Hello people, welcome on my channel. I'm Tom Heats and today we're going to talk about Streamer and why I think it is a pretty underrated project. So Streamer is a real-time data marketplace or data platform where you can buy and sell data online. If we take a look on CoinMarketCap, uh, Streamer is currently trading at rank 314 and its current price is 0.01 US dollar. I guess two months ago it was already on rank 160. I put some money in there. I mean, this is not financial advice, but I put some money in there. I think when it was at rank 400 or something. And then, yeah, I made some, some decent profits uh, when it went to rank 160. But I, will, I still think that uh, even at rank 160, it was underrated and I will tell you my just in a moment. Well, now it is at 314. We will uh, look forward to what's coming and how the partnerships look like. I will, I will definitely think that um, they will probably, that the coin will probably go up in price anytime soon. And if we go over to the marketplace, we can see that there are already working products online and available to yeah, to us. They have some data sources which cost something, which for example cost 0.4 data. And as you can see here, data is Streamer. But there are also free ones like the Helsinki Trams GPS or the Fitbit Fitness Data. You can just use this if you are, for example, a developer and you want to list some some information on your website, for example, you can make an overview. So if you're interested, I will link this below. I will link all my sources in the comment section. So if you're interested, you can check it out. They also have a white paper, which is all also uh, listed in the comment section. You can also yeah, give it a read, check it out. And they also have a uh, documentation. So you can work with streams via SDK, like software development kits, there's JavaScript, Java, but you can also uh, make streams via API. And well, I think it's pretty interesting. They already have a documentation, they have working products. And I think we will see why this project is definitely underrated. So why I think this project is very, very underrated is because of the huge partnerships they have. As you can see here, they have just won a Global Innovation Award and this was a partner with H, uh, HPE, Heatless Package Enterprise, we, we, uh, who are producing servers and, and offering server solutions. And you can read that there were hundreds of startups uh, yeah, competing in this Innovation Award and Streamer won it. So yeah, pretty interesting. And we can also look at DXC technology. This is also a partner of Streamer. And if you just look at the partners of DXC, you can see Amazon, Dell, Google, HP, yeah, HP, IBM, Microsoft, Oracle. So really, really, really interesting companies and projects working together with DXC which is a partner of streamer and i can show you this like if i search for streamer you can see they have a project which is a robotic data for predictive maintenance and yeah you can see huge companies involved in this uh, in this project and yeah, this is pretty interesting and we can also look at this reddit post they also have a partnership with Union Bank and WWF. I will link this video below. Here they just show their partnership and yeah, that they're really proud of this partnership. And yeah, pretty interesting. And now, do we really need Streamer? Is it really needed? Right now, I, I can definitely answer this with a yes. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a working product. They have a marketplace where you can already use their data. 
it's a, it is currently an ERC20 token, so yeah, currently it's working with smart contracts and it, it's dependent on Ethereum. But they have also mentioned that they can anytime switch to another uh, blockchain, like for example, like EOS and, and like, uh, Tron did it when they first published an ERC20 token and then later on switch to their own uh, blockchain. And they are saying that they are not dependent from anywhere, uh, anyone. Their uh, their software is working with any blockchain. So uh, sounds pretty promising. I don't know if uh, we still need Streamer in like 20 years or so, because if you think of the Yoda marketplace, they want to yeah do something something similar where you can trade uh, data or they want to establish a data marketplace and <clears throat> the Yota marketplace is more is a more broad broad uh, software or or tool to use you can you there's there are other opportunities not just for data and stream is actually just for data to sell and buy data and this might be interesting if it's still existing in 20 years. Right now, I would say definitely underrated. Definitely a good project working together with huge companies, huge projects. And I think it's, yeah, it's pretty interesting that they have already working products as an ESC20 token. And we can already, already experience with it. And I really think they will gain some ranks in the near future. Of course, as I've said, it's not financial advice, but um, does it harm you if you just put like $20 or something into it? And if it rises, you will definitely make a profit out of it. I think that this project is definitely underrated. It, I would put it in the top 50 or top 40, 30. It's definitely no, uh, yeah, definitely fits in there. And that was it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would be glad if you subscribe and see you next time.